All right, go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell us uh, what project you brought here to the festival. I'll let Tamar start, I think it's your project. Okay, oh, hi, I'm Tamar Halpern, I'm the director of Missing in Europe, we're the opening night film. Um, I'm Sophie Robertson and I'm the actress on Missing in Europe. So tell us uh, what Missing in Europe is uh, all about. Uh, Missing in Europe is about, it's about a young girl who um, moved to Serbia from um, America and she gets kidnapped by human traffickers and it's about her mom's journey to find her, rescue her and bring her home. So are you the actress that um, moved to Serbia or are you already in Serbia? Um, I, I moved to Serbia and I, I'm the actress that gets, that gets taken. <laughs> Now, th now, this is a—is is this like a real issue out there in uh, Eastern Europe? Because it seems like uh, we've we've seen this movie over and over again. How is this going to be different? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, it is an issue. Human trafficking is an issue all over the globe, unfortunately, and women are very vulnerable. Um, especially younger women. Um, why we're proud of this film is in this case it's a woman who saves her daughter. Um, a lot of films that deal with this, it's a male character that comes in and saves the, the victims. Uh, so we wanted to show both the vulnerability and the strength of women. And our film is written and directed and produced and stars women. <laughs> and uh, was this a difficult role for you to play? Um, obviously human trafficking is a touchy issue. What about you? Um, yeah, it um, it definitely um, pulled on some some emotions in me that I had never been I'd never been there before, and I'd learned a lot about myself as a person and as an actress um, playing this role. Um, it wasn't yeah, it was difficult, but I had to do my research and know what it's like to be drugged and everything. But um, it was it was really it was really helpful for me as a person actually. What was the most difficult thing you had to deal with on this project, being this is a, an indie project? Well, it wasn't actually difficult that we were worried, but our entire crew was Serbian, and um, all of our actors except for three were Serbian. And it turned out that the former Yugoslavia has this great history of cinema, and um, we got an incredible crew, incredible cinematographer, Vladimir Vladzika Ilic, and his team, and incredible actors as well from the local theater and television scenes. So we were blessed. We were a little concerned. How is this going to work? Language barriers, and it worked out beautifully. And one last question. Why is it so important to be here at the Dances with Films Festival? I mean, this does sound like it could be at any film festival. Why this one? Take it away. Well, um, I think for Sophie, it's her first time in Los Angeles. She just got here two days ago. Um, it's her first time in the States, so it's an opportunity to come to Los Angeles, a place that we hope she'll be working quite a bit in the future. Uh, for me personally, um, I won the festival with a feature called Shelf Life back in 2005, and then I um, was invited to do an opening night film four years ago with another film, and so this is like coming home for me personally. Um, Leslie and Michael have are part of my filmmaking family. Leslie was even in a short film I did once, so the, the founder of the festival. So for me, it means coming home. Okay, terrific. Hey, congratulations, lady, and looking forward to tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. And be sure to keep your browsers tuned to lrmonline.com for the latest news, bochinche, and analysis.